Good morning everyone, it's me again Leia and today's video, this is something different I don't normally make a video like this but yeah, I'm gonna uh, react on the videos all over on social media or especially on TikTok, some Karens or some Western women making hating a video about passport bros, passport bros, whatever, I don't know who come up with that name but yeah, they're not just attacking those passport bros, they're also attacking us Asian women, they're calling us names and saying insult words so um, I don't feel like talking in front of the camera today uh, so I'm gonna do it in a different way, I'm just gonna do a voiceover so yeah, let's get started Passport bros are comprised of lonely, broke, overweight, middle-aged men who can't score women in the U.S. because they have nothing to offer besides a one-bedroom apartment with a chirping smoke alarm. Okay, so I came over to her TikTok account to check out some of her videos. And yes, most of her videos is all about hating passport boys, passport bros, and attacking Asian women as well. So she's really angry and it's almost so funny. So... I'm still shocked what what she just said, especially coming from her. I'm still not convinced if she's really a woman or though. But anyways, um, that's exactly why most of your men are leaving. I mean, in becoming passport bros because of your attitude and mindset you have. We know to have nothing and so we are appreciative in life. We are grateful and we appreciate every penny that our men make that most of you don't do for you they don't make enough especially for your high maintenance life and yes you may consider them broke in your high maintenance life but here in asia we consider them rich and also we don't see them as overweight i think they're just big and tall with sexy eyes and big nose just what most of us attract in a guy besides we always compliment our men we always make them feel they're the most handsome men in the world and most of us dreaming to have kids with them so we can have mixed beautiful kids and don't worry ma'am because as soon as they arrive here they will never feel lonely again so these guys go overseas to look for women who in their own words are submissive and obedient okay ma'am let me educate you on this one yes we are submissive what it means to be submissive to a man there's a huge misunderstanding that it means to be obedient don't give opinion just do whatever your man says that's not what it means to be submissive submission means we confidently trust our man to lead our family in their house men wants to know that you trust them it makes them feel being respected and i hope i make that one clear no, you want them because they are easy to manipulate. You know that they are willing to do whatever it takes to live the American dream and provide a better life for their families. Even if it means having to play the submissive role and having to sleep with your disgusting asses. Oh my God, you got it all wrong, man. You misinform, I mean, to the highest level. You have no idea of the true character of a Filipina or Asian woman is. By the way, for lunch, I'm going to make chicken thai for my passport king char, passport rose lunch. But let's go back to our topic. We Filipinas know how to take care of our men by respecting their rights. Being submissive is saying yes to everything, even if it is wrong, and we do not do that. We know how to stand our ground if we have to, so that's not true that we are easy to manipulate. But yes, we are submissive. We don't have to play that role because that's just how we are. Our parents teach us how to be a good wives by taking care of our men and giving them respect. Also, we learned that from our parents to let the men control the household and we wives should be the light of the house. So we will be that light. And another thing is, most of you want the men to do things for you and yet you do not want to do things for your men. That is pure hypocrisy. That's why they leave you. If you men come to the Philippines or Thailand or any other Asian country because they like spicy, we are lonely. We know how to take care of your men and ourselves at the same time. That's not surprising that they choose us over you. We take care of you men better than you. And it seems like some of you are insecure about how we treat men better than you guys. If you feel treated about in some kind of way, I suggest you to work on yourselves instead of talking about nasty words about other people. That's really not nice. 
And you keep insulting but shaming these guys, calling them overweight. As I said, we know how to take care of our men. And besides, we Asian women, we are fit and sexy. And so we inspire our men to stay active, eat healthy, and to live longer. And if you want to be happy in life, I suggest you to be nicer and lower your standards. Not all Asian women are dreaming to have American life or have your green card, whatever. Besides, most of us are happy to stay to have a simple life in our own country. Trust me, we don't want them. And we appreciate you guys taking out the trash for us. Well, no problem, madam. We're happily to accept them. We are happy to have them and rescue from Karen like you. Besides, we have what they're looking for anyway. It's not even love. It's a business arrangement. Okay, so how can you say it's not love? Clearly, you've never been in Asian country. Do you even know what love is? We may have a different culture, different nationality, and have a big age gap. But we are human. We have feelings. We fall in love and we care for each other. Also, we have it called intimacy, like every couple do. Besides, they said they enjoy it more with us Filipinas because we are more passionate and we love to be close with our men. And we value them. We will do everything for them to make them feel happy. So yes, it's love and it's not a business. By the way guys, this Thai chicken is smells so good and it's delicious. So my passport gang will love me more for that. Do you see that? As a Filipina, that's my dream right there. To have a family and have a peaceful life. I just want best for my family. That's all I want. So I hope these ladies are living their best life. By the way, I'm about to pick some coconut juice or coconut from our backyard. I need this to cool down my head because it's very hot today. Wow, 
Oh, this is hard to open. Wow, I did it! I want a drink! Oh, splash! You want me to get a spoon? Kuchala? No, no. It's actually good when it's this hot. It's nice to have coconut juice. Mmm. Thank you. But Gracie doesn't. Mm. Ah! <laughs> it's me. No. Look, guys. The coconut uh, meat also um, perfect. Bless, can you give me a spoon? Oh, yeah. Gary will be getting mad watching this video. Me cutting this coconut. Yeah. Spoon. Ah! <laughs> ah! I did it. Look at that, guys. Perfect. Hi, mom. Every time I eat coconut, I remember my high school days. We usually get this when I was in my high school uh. with my friends. <laughs> and sometimes we do cutting just to get some coconut. <laughs> in our province, there's a lot of coconut. And it's free also. <laughs> you can just get it from your neighborhood. And we usually mix it with milk and ice. It tastes so good. More. Mm. Oh. More? Oh, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. What do you like the most? The meat or the juice? Mm. Mm. The juice. Me too. I like the juice better. But still, I love the meat. I love the meat too. I love meat and juice. Hmm. Stay away, there's a beer. Stay away. Yeah. Go inside in the playroom. Yeah, there's a beer. Big one. I don't know, but. It's been a few days that we got lots of bees around the house. Maybe they have, you know? They have a house or what do you call it? Nest? Sorry, talking with my mouth full. Oh, try? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she wants to try. Gracie doesn't like it. I like it. Gracie doesn't like it. Why? I don't. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Thank you guys for watching our video. Bye guys.